I have a problem. Okay, okay. Let me back up. Not that kind of problem. No, no, no. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze what I'm doing. And what that means is that I tend to shoot and reshoot many of the things that you're seeing on this channel. Sometimes redoing a single line eight to ten times just to get it the way I like. I need a tool that will not only help me get rid of bad takes and get rid of silences, but also allow me to dub over words if I get one or two words wrong. I want to be able to edit that right then and there instead of going back and reshooting the entire product. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool called Descript. And what Descript will do is not only allow me to edit my videos, not only will it transcribe my videos and put subtitles in there, it'll not only give me an automatic green screen, but if I make a mistake on one or two words, I can go in there and dub it myself automatically without having to reshoot the entire thing. Let's dive in and I'll show you what it's all about. This is Descript. Once you log in, fill out all your information, you'll come to this screen. And I do like that they give you like helpful hints over here. It's kind of cool. You got all your things on the side. So you got your projects. If you want to do a, a quick recording, you can just go over here, click new project, click quick recording. You'll get all of them over here. You can learn about Descript. So if you're not sure about how to do something over here, they have an entire tab full of helpful hints, etc. If you're not sure about how to edit, once we get in here, you'll see all the different editing tools that Descript have. So if you don't know what any of those tools do, you can use the learn Descript tab and it'll show you exactly how to do anything. Although you can also Google it, YouTube, etc. But it's cool that it's all in one place. Down here, you got the next tab over. You have AI speakers. So if you want to add your own voice, you can do that here. So if I'm going to do this, right, I'm just going to click Alex and give myself my own AI speaker. This is going to benefit us in the future when I have a take that I don't like and I need to dub it over. If my take is all of myself and then I dub it over in a different voice, it's going to sound a little weird. So this is how you can dub over a piece of your video without deleting the whole thing, but still dub it over in your voice. You're going to do it here with the new speaker tab. You'll come over here and you can see that everybody in your account can see it. So if you are working with a team of editors or a team of voice recorders or producers or anything like that, that are, those all those people will be able to see your projects from here. And if you want your own local storage, it'll be over here so that only you can see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a new project. We're going to do a video project. And I previously recorded just a quick minute video of a random topic. I'm going to put that in here now. So what Descript is doing is it's not creating, it's not a video generator like this or Runway. It is a video editor. What I'm going to do now, now that my video is fully downloaded, I can come over here and I can take a look at all of these different options. But the first thing I want to do in order to use its full functionality and to actually show you how to dub over something and how to edit your words and everything like that. Now that I've uploaded my video, now I can come over here, I can right click and when I click that it's going to give me a couple options. The first option is to literally and automatically input your transcript into the video. So whatever you're saying, just click insert into script and it's automatically going to show up on the left side. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that we can then dub over anything we need to. We can take a look at the transcript, make sure it's okay. And then we can actually add subtitles onto it in a little bit. It just transcribed it as I was talking, right? I'm going to put it into English, keep it into English. I can change it into any one of these languages and then I can change the speaker name. Now I have not added my voice yet. So let me show you how to do that first. And then we'll come back over here and finish the editing process. So from this screen, like I showed you before, you're going to come into AI speakers and you're going to click new speaker. I'm going to name both you can keep it Alex might as well. I am Lagana, Alex. What I want to do when I record this is record it in a natural cadence and the natural way I talk. If I'm recording it in a silly voice or a fast cadence, that's what the AI is going to get trained on. And it's going to sound rushed and silly and ridiculous. I did that for 11 labs and it didn't come out exactly how I wanted to. So when you're recording, just make sure and it's kind of says a uh, it gives you actually a transcript that you can use from here if you wanted to but make sure that you're using a natural cadence and voice because if you don't it's going to train its ai model 
based on how you're talking in the moment. So once you do record your voice, you'll see that it says no one will be able to use this without my consent. And there is on Descript's website a more distinct privacy policy if you want to go take a look at that. But basically it's saying that without your direct consent, this voice can't go anywhere except for Descript servers. They won't use it for any of their promotional things, training materials for their other A voices, et cetera, et cetera. So now that I'm uploading it, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to authorize. It's going to make sure that's good to go. It's going to train it. And now when I come back into my projects and take a look, I can add the speaker and it'll show up over here. So now that I have my voice and I have my transcript in here, now that I'm here, let's say that I didn't want this to be truffle fried potatoes and instead I wanted to replace it with something else. So what I would do is click on overdub and if I didn't want it to say truffle fried potatoes and instead I wanted it to say par truffle fries, I'd write parmesan truffle fries overdub it. It's going to generate the AI speech. And once it stops flashing and it becomes solid, that's how you know when it is finished. So now what I'm going to do is just play it for you. So now truffle potatoes, instead of saying truffle potatoes, it's now going to say Parmesan truffle fries. The video is not going to change. However, the voice will. So instead of me in the video saying it, the AI version of my voice is going to dub it over instead. You got mashed potatoes and French fries and garlic potatoes, Parmesan truffle fries and sweet potatoes. And if you really didn't like the way it sounded, you could always just record it yourself instead, right? Go to replace section and do it that way. Now I can take a look at all these options on the right. Underlord, trying to help you instead of taking over your project and making it completely AI, it's leaving it up to you. Now what you can do over here is you can have AI edit wording for clarity so if you just have stock images or b-roll and you're voicing over it this would be perfect so it'll edit your script in a way that makes it sound better you can have studio sound so that your voice quality and if you have music in the background or something it'll make it even more professional you can remove retakes so if you're saying the same line over and over again because you're making mistakes you can get rid of it that way which unfortunately the eye contact feature is a premium version all of these with the hourglass are ones that I can use but have a limited use of. And all of the ones with the lightning bolt are ones that I need to pay for it. So the eye contact feature and the translate feature. The rest of these generated an image, green screen, they all have a limited use. And right now it just says I can use it up to three times on the free version and then I can upgrade for more. The other things you can do with your project is you can layer it. So Descript is also a full on editor. So if you wanted to add another layer to this, all right, I can come over here. I have videos, I have images, I have GIFs, I have stickers, and I can layer it like that. Or I could just make it bigger and layer it on top, something petition. along those lines. Petition for making And when I play the video, it will move with it because it is- Potatoes, sticker. potatoes. A potato. I can come over here and put an arrow in. I can add an effect to make it even more obvious. I can add an animation. So I can zoom in, zoom out the effects. I can blur it. I can zoom it in. So what's cool about the effects bar is if I come to my, so let's get rid of these for now. Sorry, oh! potato. What I can do here is I can actually come over here to the green screen effect and put on my green screen. And now it's going to take a little bit to apply it and it's going to get rid of the background automatically. So now that I've added the green screen effect, it got rid of my entire background. So the now global, when I'm talking, the global and I love that it works even world, through a video. So not just a picture anymore. It is now completely green screen. So I can layer it so that it's behind everything in the scene tab. And now when I'm talking, I didn't have to rotoscope anything out. It's all within Descript's tools. Any one of these, I can add sound effects. All right, let's just say I'm going to add slow motion into here. I can drag and it'll add it to my video. Now, here's where it gets kind of cool because there's a timeline button down here. So if I wanted to be very specific with how I do my music or when I want the green screen to take place, I can move everything around down here. So what I can do is I can make this bigger by doing the scroll wheel and now I can move this around. So if I wanted the slow motion to start here, I could do that, right? I can move it around. If I didn't want the green screen to appear yet, I can move that over here. So that was a black screen. If you wanted to get really specific with the way that you're editing your video, if you didn't want to go into something like DaVinci or Adobe Premiere or something along those lines, you really wanted to just keep it in Descript, you can make this 
and use it as a full-on editor. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to get rid of all these silences. So as you can see over here, you have these dots. And these dots are all the times with silence in them. So if I started from for here, making here for making the silence right now there's music playing over it right because i just added the music but those are all silences so the way i'm going to remove them is i'm going to come over here and shorten the word gaps and i can edit it it says three seconds or more i that is way too long i'm gonna say 0.25 seconds or more and it shows that there were 18 word gaps so what i'm going to do i'm going to find all of them and I'm going to shorten them all. So now what I can do over here, if this music is too loud, I can come over and I can go to normalize audio and it'll normalize the volume of the audio so that it doesn't overshadow my own speaking voice. So now my finished product looks Here's like this. Here's my petition. Here's for making potatoes potato and national food. food. Potatoes can be put in everything. I took a video that looked like this. Here's my petition for making potatoes the global and national food. I turned it into something with a background, something with transcription, something with subtitles, something with audio, got rid of all the silences that I didn't need, all within one project. So now, once I'm fully finished, I can click on publish, and I would need the upgraded version to remove the watermark, although it gives me one remaining watermarked video for free, which is kind of cool. I can only go up to 720, which is more annoying, but that's okay, right? I'm using a free version after all. Anything they give me for free is kind of cool. I go to publish. I publish a video, which I now it's published. I can download it. I can have a link. So now that this is on the internet and it's uploaded to Descript servers, I can actually come over here and link it so that you guys can see it. So the finished project of what I just did will be down in the description below for you to see for yourself. Here's my petition for making potatoes the global and national food of the world. And I'll also give you the unedited version of the video I created if you really wanted potatoes to take over the world. Go for it, be my guest. You can edit it any way you want, as long as you don't make me look too bad. You got it. But that's Descript in a nutshell. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your favorite part of Descript. Let me know if you want to see more of the tools that it could use. If you want me to upgrade and take a look at all its premium features. And also let me know what you're most excited for in the future in terms of AI video editors, generators, audio synthesizers. Let me know any cool websites that you know in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you next time.